Welcome to Stage Crunchy and Milk. If you have any questions or comments, we have multiple ways we can be reached. Around? That is one of the ways. Twitter is, of course, the best way for those of you that need instant gratification in this millennial-based world. And, of course, the show's Twitter feed is at Skimpod. That's S-K-I-M-P-O-D. For the more patient amongst you, which is none of us, let's be honest, the email address for the show is podcast at stayscrunchyandmilk.com. Crunchy again, being spelled with a K. We're also available via Apple Podcast, something I've never heard of. Stitcher Radio. Are any of you still using that shit? Tune in radio. Whatever the fuck that is, I, I couldn't tell you. Google Play. I've heard of that. I don't use it, but if you do, thank you. Spotify. Now that one I use, so find us on there. I know we're on there. And of course, at the website, stayscrunchymilk.com. Now I ask that you please rate, review, subscribe, and share the show, because honestly, I don't do that shit. And I need someone to pick up my slack. Now, I hear that there is a group of people here that collectively discuss music, and they provide for you, yes you, a pod call cast. It's a musical discussion show built on a hip-hop foundation, which seems to be what makes the musical world turn these days. And I hear it's pretty swell. Our personal Twitters are Tatum216, Lunchbox2099, The Real ODP, and your host... Internet's Tasty Tayrell 713. It's a strange place we're at right now. I have no idea how this will sound. Strange in that we don't record here. We come here. I'm going to be curious to find out if this soul music going on above us is going to get us demonetized from YouTube. Mm, you know what? A question we'll have to come to when we get there. So, <laughs> say Charge Book episode 308. And uh, we are in the Fifth Street Arcade, what used to be called the Colonial Arcade, when we were young, young, young men. It's uh, kind of nice. It's uh, you mean like the, you as in you guys, or uh, you or we as in like the country? Two as in, <laughs> as in two of the three of us. <laughs> I mean, you're older than me, but not like, like a gross amount. Oh, uh, that's true. But he knew when it, he knew it when it was the Colonial Arcade. So. Yeah, I, was, I mean, it might I, have been when I was like, you know, I, oh, I you never were came down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. That's what like weirds me out about here and um, what they're planning or the, the current hope is for Tower City. Because I remember coming down as a kid and then being in the mall. Mm-hmm. Now they're talking about making this like Silicon Valley like blockchain innovation center. Blockchain. This is another turn of phrase for uh, cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency, right? Yeah. Blockchain is a system that it runs on. Yeah. It's almost like really. I guess. I mean, the I mean, thing though is like it's a, a new market. That, like even our own like banks around here are getting involved in yeah so no matter what like, like it, maybe it'd be good for Cleveland to be on the forefront of something yeah, I'll just, yeah I'll just, no matter what they do it'd be better than what they're doing it's so many different shit it, it's, it's so much close empty space in there it's like no matter what they're doing it's, it gotta be more yeah than what they what they have right now like, Any plan right now is better than what yeah. we got. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nothing. If, but, I, if I gotta get into cryptocurrency to buy cookies in Tower City, you know what? <laughs> well, that, that, that was the thing too, because like they built the building, the apartments across the street, mm-hmm. and then like they want to have like they have the the tr- public transit right there, so you have like access from the burbs in. Yeah, they want to make it like this like center where like this new emerging business potential like future technology. Can have a house, and then people can live there, and then there's, like the storefront stuff that's like empty. They're talking about having like basic needs stuff there, almost like if they were to move the Heinen's type of ideal into there, yeah. so that like the people who work there could live across the street, and then they could have their basic needs met right, met right there, yeah. Yeah. and they just spend time there. And then like if they want to go out, like we have East Fork, we have the, the sporting events. Like it makes sense in a way. And the whole shutting of the street down thing right there kind of confuses me. Um, but, I mean, that's all logistical stuff that they can work around, I guess. Mm. We will see. We, have, we, we work in this interesting environment that... It's like creating a little community right there. Well, you know? what I'm saying is, the company that owns our building and owns the tower seem to have a good... Like, we're going to make some shit happen. The company that owns the middle <laughs> is like, I don't know what I'm doing with any of this. 
I used to like it because I had a casino in here, but I don't think I like it no more. So it's like, is you, are you going to leave that casino be? So you're going to have a casino just sitting there at the front of this tech hub, I guess? Well, he owns Tower City, too. That's what I'm saying. He owns the middle, the mall. The tower in our building is owned by K&D. Are you sure? Because they're I'm one thousand percent sure. <laughs> because when K and D, um, like when we had one of those uh, women on the move events, mm-hmm. K and D was like, um, yeah, because uh, that, that was the, the one question they were getting was like, what are, what's going on with Tower City? And they're like, we want to know too. That, that was like the like one of the main things. Is it like, I mean, as you can see, like we're like we're living the proof of K and D trying to improve around. You know, we got a free gym we use. We're gonna have a cafe downstairs pretty soon. Like they're filling up the building that we work in. They're working on the building that we work in. But then, like in Tower City, where like we just had the like the All Star game here like two days ago. Yeah, which is why you're probably hearing all these people behind us because like usually around this time in here, it's fucking dead. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's just like heavy traffic in here, which is very confusing. Well, it's like a bunch of little kids in here. And part of that's probably because the school's out. Yeah. There's also, like, faces that are unfamiliar. Like, even some of the kids down here are, like, familiar to me because they, they come regular enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen that kid. I know every kid. Before. I'm not saying I know everyone. I'm just saying. If, if he, you're selling a dime, pad, uh, dime bag in the park, I want in. Well, the thing is, like, you can feel the people who, like, are working down here and just on lunch and then the people who are in town because there's a, I don't know, there was an all-star game and now they're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, there, there's, like, each one has a sense about them. So... That's the issue with the middle. Rock Gaming, or Rock, uh, whatever Dan Gilbert's company is, owns the mall portion of this program. And he seems reticent to do anything with it. It's like, he don't want to fix it. I, everybody who keeps leaving is saying their rent was raised, and that's why they left. McDonald's left this place. You know, McDonald's in a mall is a... Is a Staple. It's a staple of most of the most places. And they, le- they, they left because they said the rent was too high for them. Now, that's a... That's a Oh, well, franchisee, but it's still saying something, you know what I'm saying? They're like, nah, bro, that costs too much. I wonder if he's trying to line it up with the um, the opening and back up of the, um, of the stadium, of, of uh, um, the Rock House, whatever that bitch is called. Rock oh, Orange Fieldhouse? Rock yeah, that's, field that shit sound racist as fuck, man. Like, the Fieldhouse? Come on, man. That's what they name. That's what uh, Indiana's uh, state. It's, it's, it's also called something, something field house. I'm just pointing out to you that it began, It seems to be a new tradition around here. <laughs> new tradition to call shit a field house. Yeah. No bueno. No one's gonna call that bitch a plantation. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rock. A field house and a plantation is the same thing. <laughs> so. Oh I mean, no, it's I, worse. I had never the, heard of that term before the Indiana Pacers arena. Yeah. It's, it's the the big house and the field house. I mean, it's, the, the big house is where the the plantation was a hole. The field house is where the black people stay, and the uh, and the big house is where the where everybody else stayed. The, the more light skinned people was there. <laughs> they was white. They wouldn't like this. All right, so according to Wikipedia, field house is a common name for indoor sports arenas and stadiums, mostly used for college basketball, volleyball, or hockey. Additionally, it is known to serve as a support building for various adjacent sport fields, i.e. locker room, team room, coaches, offices, for places spelled field... Okay, so that it, then it links you to places with field house in their name. So we got, like, Alaska has the Baker Field House, which is an Air Force base. Arkansas has the Rhodes Field House, which is part of a university. I ain't good about that Arkansas one. So Indiana has the Baker's Life Field House, which is where the Pacers play. Gladstein Fieldhouse, which is part Indiana University, Hinkle Fieldhouse, which is Butler University, Lambrant Fieldhouse. Which Butler's is in Indiana, Indiana, right? Yeah, these are all Indiana. I, I think it might be an Indiana thing. <laughs> well, no, I mean it lists every state. I just skipped Indiana. Oh, okay. Alaska's got it. Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, D.C., Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New York. Ohio has one, two, three, four of them. Oklahoma has a couple. Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. All have field houses. Still don't like that name. It still uh, reminds me of slavery. Fair enough. I do like rock. I do. Just like, like we just now getting rid of all the statue, uh, all the, the statues with uh, with racist shit. Tear all the field houses yeah. down. Tear all the field houses down. 
Like, um, those stars and bars are still different places. A fair point. <laughs> well, that dude who out here using field house loosely as fuck ain't fixing up this, uh, stru- he's doing nothing with it. Yeah. It's not that he has to like Fieldhouse Slaves does come up though as a possible oh, search. I'm gonna go with my man said it. I'm gonna just fucking know it's gospel. I'm not even fucking arguing the point. It's the, it's the third one on the search. There you go. So Field hands had to live somewhere. They lived in field houses probably, right? Field hands that is. Yeah, so that's that's that I'm not saying my man ain't right. But that's just us bitching about local shit, which probably has nothing to you probably well, look, my local listeners are probably like, yeah, they should do something. But or people who want to fucking visit here. True indeed. <laughs> like, um, like if you're coming to downtown Cleveland, you know that like when you only say like, oh, it's only a champ sports here in the dollar store. Or or a car store. I guess I'll go to those one of those three places and then leave after that. Yeah. You could buy some new tennis shoes and some candles, that's about it. Yeah, you'll you'll be fly with uh with sports memorabilia and smell pretty good in your hotel room. <laughs> Unless they say you can't burn candles in your hotel room. <laughs> I would tell you to use cash in the dollar store. Just take my word. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I had a, before we forget, I had a story. So, the other day was the 4th of July, which is a holiday. And I needed to go grocery shopping. So, I got up at 3 in the morning. Because I woke up at 3 in the morning. I was like, I might as well go shopping now. Walmart's open. Mm-hmm. So, I get done shopping. And I see this little kid. It's still like, it just might be six o'clock. And this is this little kid on a bike, like just dry, or riding his bike. Like um, he had on like a, a basketball type outfit. It was like all red. And he was just riding his bike. I was just like, if this world were not fucked up, I could just stop and like ask him like, man, what you doing, <laughs> doing out here at five in the morning? Reminds me of uh, Dave Chappelle's skin. Look at baby. Yeah, what are you doing, baby? <laughs> so, weed, nigga. <laughs> so, I was just like, I was. It always interests me, like, uh, like when I was growing up, it was a couple of adults that I, I could talk to and befriend. And but in, in this day and age, it's, it's a fine line between like concerned adult and like. Murderer, kidnapper, pedophile. Right? Yes, I don't think and it's I don't, a fine line. It's a pretty broad line between those two mm, things. No, no, no. no Actually, what I, I mean is a fine line of public opinion. Oh, okay. No, I think I think you're right. It's like the first thing you think is when an adult stops to talk to a kid. Like, what the fuck did you like? If what is yeah. that that fucking adult? I used to get that like feeling. Kid? Like, I remember. Like, I'll never forget this. The first time I right, so when I moved, first moved in the apartment. When I moved out of my mom's house initially, mm-hmm. and I met my roommate's friends, we were over at his house to for NFL Sunday. A bunch of us were there hanging out, so it was like the first time I was like meeting like a couple of the people there. Mm-hmm. First time I've been to his house. At the time, his daughter, who's now nine, was like one. She was crawling around the living room in just a diaper, and she was like crawling on me. And, like, my initial thought is just, like... Get off me, baby. Yeah, like, don't touch me, baby. I don't want anyone thinking anything that I'm not thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so it's... I wish it was a good environment for you to be for you to be able to be like, man, what you doing out here at 6 in the morning? And he could have just been like, I'm just riding my bike. Or he could be like... Sean I, need like, some- I need some help. <laughs> um, but... I was just like, because I, I felt like at that point we were kindred spirits. We were both out, like, early in the morning, taking care of, but, uh, shit, he could have been taking care of whatever could've he needed to. Could have had a paper route. Yeah. yeah. He could have been on the way to a job. He got might have had something like, maybe helping a painting crew or something, yeah. Yeah, but he was like 11, so I, I don't know what he was doing out Under there. Under the table, man. Big yeah. brother don't need to know. But then, like, um, I was going down the same street. I seen him again. Instead of wearing a red outfit, he was a blue outfit. So, I don't know if he's on the borderline of a clip or a blood. Or <laughs> he was trying to decide that you morning. You got to pull up next to him like, what that walk do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it was um, it was intriguing. And I'm, um, I'm glad he's all right. I guess he survived... Um, being out early in the morning because kids don't play outside like that no more. Yeah. He wasn't with nobody. That was how you knew, like, the, the bikes in the front yard back in the day was how you knew where people were. It was a text alert. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Um, and then, either that or they're on the side and the bikes got stolen and they're not aware yet. It's going to that why that bike's laying sideways on my porch right now. Yeah. But who knows? <laughs> Yeah, uh, bikes were an amazing piece of freedom when you when you were a kid. Like, yeah. um, 
I remember coming home, hopping on it, coming back at dusk. No one ever asked me where I was at, which in retrospect is kind of concerning. I, I <laughs> so I check in with the, with, with Zan. We're gonna go with Zan because he's the one I, I is, I'm, a, I'm a little more loose with. But I kind of do give him his freedom at this point. But also, your child has a cell phone. Yes, true. When, when I was, a, we do live in the future. Yeah. <laughs> when I look back then, when I was doing this, we didn't have phones yeah. that I could carry in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, not even pages. Like I remember, um, pages existed when I was in middle school, yeah. but I wasn't like I didn't have one. You trying to hit you on the hip? Nobody like yeah. you know where you at? The whole city bars. <laughs> yeah, like I just remember, um, you know, yeah, being out all day on your bike. Like we used to do everything. We used to go get Popeyes chicken on a bike, and somebody hold it on the on the. Uh, going through the drive thru on a bike is one thing I always wanted to do, but I never did. Oh uh, yeah, they weren't. No, they weren't playing that shit. <laughs> we, 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 I remember I told you we were at a rally. So one time we did listen to some some little youngies come through on the bike, and we just like, all right, man, because it just happened to be the right manager that night. You go to cool. that other side though. Yeah, so I have I have help. Well, my thing is, like, if I got to fucking let them pedal in front of me on the street, yeah. why can't I go to the drive-thru? It's real talk. I, 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 yeah, that, I, I, I had one block in traffic for me this morning. <laughs> pissing me off. Bike independence now and forever. Well, it's because, like, I can't hit the gas pedal. I got to tap it and then let it idle while he pedals his ass off. And I'm just like, come on, man, get out of my way. Yeah, I like I, I like it. Well, and, and, and I, I, when they, they look back, they know what the deal is. Like, bro, we're going to. Let's come on. Let's facilitate me getting the fuck around you, and you keep going. <laughs> it's like I'm not trying to run up on you, I'm not trying to strike you. My kid rides a bike. I, I want I want to look out for all bikers, but look yeah. out for you. <laughs> let's let's tell our tell a little bit here. A little for uh, me, oh, a little for you. What happened to like riding on the fucking sidewalk there? Right. What? What? It's, it's, it's well, it, it technically was always illegal. You're supposed to ride the streets and use traffic to and use your turn. You know your basic signal. Mm. But like in a car, I can get pulled over for going too slow. Holding up traffic. The cyclists are essentially doing the same thing, but they're allowed to do it legally. You can only have that happen on a highway where it has a minimum speed limit as well as a maximum speed limit. On a regular street, you're fine. It ain't no cop trying to stop you. I mean, I'm, I'm probably not you, maybe me, but you know how this works. So. <laughs> Man, I was explaining to someone this morning about how you had it, like, got into a mini panic at the Border Patrol. And, like, because they asked if who was going to be driving for our upcoming trip. Yeah. And I was like, hopefully we rotate this time. <laughs> And then they were like, well, why did he get nervous? And I couldn't be like, because he's black in America. <laughs> you I just should have said that, because it's real. But I, I was just like, I don't know. I, I think but, he just got flustered at the question. This my now. He's back in North America. Y'all was going to Toronto. Third, fourth time, whatever this is. I am. I, I actually was just talking about this other day with Xander. No, I'm sorry, Lily about it. I go, they suck at the border, and I and I have to I have to recognize that now. And I know why they suck at the border. They, they have to. They kind of got to be little bitches about it. So I just need to go in there. Why are you being a little bitch border? I need to go in there and not be surprised they ask if I'm holding the heat in the fucking whip like I was that last time. Like, I literally was taken a, I was stunned by the question. Hmm. Like, you got, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you transporting any guns? And I was like, I doubled, I, I literally cartoon double take. Like, what? No. <laughs> so now I'm just like, what's, what's, the, what's the purpose of your trip to Canada? Are oh. guns cheaper up there? Well, I mean, no, everything is cheaper up there, but is guns cheaper? I don't even know how that shit works, bro. You let me know. We're visiting, and we're going to go see the Indians play the Blue Jays. Maybe I should put the Blue Jays first, just in case they fans. We're going to see the Blue Jays play the Indians. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that, that's all I need to do, but we shall see. I ran in a minivan, so we kind of going in a little bigger whip. You know is saying? it going to have TVs in it? I have no idea. Mm. And, I mean, it's the future. We all got TVs. So... <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm prepared. <laughs> At least I'm mentally prepared. If it comes down to it, I'm like, all right, we're switching in Buffalo. Push on, box. <laughs> I was going to let Dan, Xander drive, and I realized, oh, he can't drive the rental car anyway. He's got to be 25 or you know. Mm. I mean, I guess I got to let him drive, and I give it down, but he fucks up, up. I'm going to hit you got, Or do you got to get special insurance, because people always get, um, I, mean, I guess people just don't be like, uh, oh, yeah, this is for my son's prime. Yeah, yeah. So... Maybe there's some rules for that. Maybe they just, or maybe they just don't tell. You know what yeah. I'm so, Don't ask, don't keep, tell. Let it, keep him local before you let him fly. Oh, for sure. No, for <laughs> sure, for sure. I mean, I mean, I guess he could drive. I don't even know the rules for, for you know, learn how to drive. He might be illegal just because, you know what I'm saying? He might have rules to it. So, no point in letting him uh, border check and everything. So, but, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very excited about the Toronto trip. I don't know if you've noticed. I've been, I've, it's, been, it's, been, it's been getting even hyper as, as we you get You've sent me a lot of words via text. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yo, they doing this up there? They doing this up there? I can't go to the new beach because we got children. Plus, I'm not really trying to see old man dick. 
But apparently it's very nice. Everybody has written, I've, I've read multiple reviews of it. Everybody reviews it. It's a lovely beach and everybody seems to feel very comfortable like, there. I, I would think a new beach has to be lovelier because like, you don't want to be getting glass up in your ass when you were <laughs> Well, there. in general, they seem to keep their beaches in check up there. Up yeah. There. So, and that's kind of nice too, so. They got the San, the San Zamboni up in that bitch? I know, but like, you know, uh, Edgewater got the San Zamboni now. They take yeah. great care of Edgewater. So, so when we tried to do this the other day, you had a story about a Diet Coke that I was interested in hearing about an apology Coke. Oh, no, you really don't want to get in that. That's personal business. Uh-huh. That's me telling you I had to give my girl an apology Coke. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were going to go no, deeper into no, that. We literally oh, got, I, thought, I thought he meant like apology lines. No, we, <laughs> we literally got into it. And, I, and, and then I, after I considered my, my position in this uh, debate, I was like, I guess I'm wrong. I'm wrong enough to admit it. And I will allow for that, which is not always. Sometimes I'll be like, fuck that, I'm right, and I'm going to be right, and I ain't apologize for shit. But in this case, I was like, I brought you an apology coat and a piece of cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> because, yes, flowers are lovely, but come through with that beverage and some cheesecake for your, for your partner if, they really, if those are things you know they enjoy. And you are probably better for it. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't work. I need to bring, like... Um, I'll have to make an apology a whole dinner. Ain't no cheesecake or no Coke flying. That bitch got to be at least a two liter. <laughs> also, also, it was the level of this, the, the level of the, 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 it didn't rise to, the, to anything else. It, was, it wasn't that kind of fight. It was enough of a fight where I'm like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. But it seemed like the big shit is the shit that we get over quickly. It's that little shit like, man, I think Honey Smacks is better, <laughs> better than, better than uh, I think Diggum. No, okay, so. Golden Crisp is the bear. Yeah. Uh, Sugar Snap, uh, whatever. Is the frog. Is the frog. I don't fuck with that frog anyway. That was that was our argument the other day. You fuck with Diggum? I don't fuck with Look, Diggum. Look, the bear was way doper. But yeah, Diggum was fine. Can't for that Golden Crisp. <laughs> um, My man Diggum. Yeah, yeah, I had them on the same level. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't I mean, I like them both. And the mascots, yeah, they were both fine. Their cereal is weird and makes your pee smell like a cereal after you eat it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. Oh, malted piss smell. <laughs> <laughs> malted piss so I kind of, kind of like, mm, I can understand the situation. Yeah, I don't think, um, I don't know. I think um, getting in a fight with your significant other is just one of those things that um, it could either it, it could go either way. But I'm never afraid of like um, not to give it all, not to give the whole discussion. Let me see if I can find what what we were fighting about. If I can roll back a couple of days. I didn't mean to put your personal business on. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I thought, like, literally, when you discussed it the other day, I thought that was your show. <laughs> and I was actually curious. I've spent two days now wondering what the hell you were going to talk what about. The hell was that? What was the uh, apology code? I said, man, you got to really roll because we really text a lot because apparently that is just what we do. I think we've been texting more in words with friends than in our, like, regular texts. <laughs> like, today, uh, my girlfriend had a review at her job. And I was like, how did your review go inside of uh, the Words for Friends? Because she played. I might as well ask her. Um, now that I know she's not uh, currently busy. And um, her in our regular text, we started t- t- uh, texting about Words for Friends. Because um, I beat the computer today. And, like, I used, I think, like, Vex or something like that. And got, like, 74 points. And she was like, you used that fucking word on me earlier. And I was just like... <laughs> Come on, man. You have won 100% of the games of Connect 4 we've ever played. She said, I just want to win it all. I was like, okay, I can't argue with that. I've never won a game of Connect 4 against her. She, like, overthinking her Connect 4 games? Is that I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm just over, I'm underthinking it. Connect 4 is just... All right, there we go. I got, now, I, I've, I, now, now that I've dug into it, I'm like, God damn. See, I told you I was wrong. And I knew I was wrong when it was all said and done. That's why I had to apologize. So... You gotta sing a Dave Hollister song to her. So, uh, I'll just say it to y'all not to keep it up jokes. I don't know what whatever. Hit me up uh, Monday afternoon. Was like, you wrong? It was you at, wrong? It was at West 117 West uh-huh. and needed a jump. Okay. And she's like, hey, is Vanessa home? And can she jump with her? I'm like, yeah, I'm almost positive that's just fine. I mean, she can definitely do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I called Vanessa and, and, and she's like, we're just kind of bugs out about it. Now they actually gave me to me this a this a this a double anger from when my kid locked the keys in the car. If y'all remember that story from the last episode, mm-hmm. because no, that didn't oh, make the episode. That was real life. I could probably put that in the episode. Oh, right. yeah, that was real life. Oh, well, okay. Well, I, I'll get you there too. So okay. okay. 
if we go back, oh no, a week before this happened, well, not even a week, a few days before this happened, my TV died. I could have swore I said that on the show. Did I not say that on the no, show? No, this is on real All life. TV died. I had to replace TV. In the process of preparing to get a new TV, I was like, it's probably not going to fit in the, in the back of the fit. The fit does some amazing things for for space, but I, I think the back of the focus might get fitter. So I tell my son, hey, do me solid. Just go measure in the back of the focus from here to here and here to here. Cool. I think my kid comes back in the house. Dad likes to keep him apart. And it's one of those things where like, I'm like, ooh, so and so. But I'm like, no problem. Vanessa has AAA. We're good to go. Let's call to play. So I hit her up and I'm pissy at my, to my son, but not too mad. But hey, man, what's up with this? Hey, uh, we got some relation, right? Can you hear the ball? Yeah, I never renewed the AAA. And, and, and I was already mad about my kid and the keys, and that just took me over. Mm-hmm. So basically, now we fast forward to uh, Monday with uh, Vanessa and Edie. I Me mean, asked Vanessa, can she jump a car? And finding out she cannot jump a car. And it was just like, what world is this? You don't got trip away. You can't jump a motherfucking car. I was, it, was, it was extra, it was, it, was, it was residual anger from the little fight. Mm-hmm. Remember, I used to say a little fight, sometimes I hold on. And then bonus, bonus anger from each of them. bonus rounds. From, from actual, a new worry in my life. I'm like, do you know how? So then I started going online. Can you change a tire? You showed me once. No. Like, what the fuck? It's just too much. It was all too much. And, I just, and then I, and I'm mad. And she's like, you know, I had you. And she's like, she gets, she has anxiety. She gets anxious. And so me getting mad, of course, gets her anxious. Mm-hmm. And gets her upset. And so I'm, they got there. Uh, time out. So I feel like for the cover art, it should be juveniles cover for 100% juvenile. <laughs> with, uh, I'm not juvenile. 100% genuine, but with your face superimposed. <laughs> <laughs> but so anxious underneath. Or pony. <laughs> oh, genuine, not juvenile. Yeah, ju- uh, genuine. <laughs> so it's just, it was like it was some bonus. It was some bonus anger from the, from you know, some some days before. Mm-hmm. Cut into a little bit of worry. Cut into like, what do you mean you can't jump a car? Like, <laughs> I feel. And if anything, I was like, I'm getting Xander. Xander knows how to jump a car. Because guess what? My child knows how to jump a car. Because I've taught my child how to jump a car. And then she's like, my family didn't teach me any of this shit. I'm like, my family didn't teach me this either. I know to connect the cables, like on the battery connector, mm. and then I've I've seen where like you can connect it to like if you want to not wait for the battery to charge up, you can like put the prongs on like the alternator or something on the other car to get it to fire up real quick. That seems dangerous. <laughs> so, what you, what you, so on one car, and I cannot tell you which one right now because I'm not any whatever. One car gets both 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 grips. The other car gets a red, and the black is your ground, and you need to put it on a, po- a point in your car to ground it. Yeah. So I believe that's the car that is uh, doing the charging and needs a ground, and the car that's being charged gets them both. Yeah. So you got there's you plenty of bolts on the car to grab it to. Maybe that's what they're doing. They went for the, uh, the alternator, but I'm like, don't fuck it all, baby. No, no, no. It was literally my stepdad trying to not wait for the battery on the other car to charge up. He was just trying to start it real quick because once the car starts up, it'll start. The alternator, it, start the alternator charges itself up. Yeah. So you're supposed to just like say give 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 the other car a ground spot and then wait. And we, and we had to jump. Remember we had to jump the sidewalk at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's there in my mind. I know how to do it. I watched my mama. My mama, and it's another thing. It's, 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 and it's always going to be a problem. My mama is a woman's woman. Mm-hmm. Who who and any man's man because she just knew her shit because she had it. She's a single woman and she's like I got to know how to do this shit. And so I, she knows. I, I knew how to do this shit because my mama put me on the, onto these things. And the check she couldn't was fuck with me. I kind of feel like sometimes when you grow up in a single parent household, mm-hmm. like your parents instill more in you because they have to. Yeah. You grow up in a double house, uh, a double parent household. It's kind of like, is you gonna teach or is you gonna teach you? It's kind of like signals get crossed and shit like that, and it's kind of like they gonna be okay. They have both of us like their whole life. Yeah, I mean, I, like think for me. I bounced around all the time. Yeah. I was at this grandmother, this grandparents, I was at my dad's, and like sometimes my mom would show up and like so it's like I didn't have two people watching over me at all times who knew what I was doing or what I do know and what I didn't know. Yeah. I just was like being handed off all the time. So as long as I wasn't getting into trouble and I seemed okay, everyone's like, eh, he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I I got mad, and in reality, I shouldn't have been mad about that. I really could have been more sensitive to the, the fact that she doesn't know this shit and doesn't know it because she grew up in a fucked up family situation that they were a family, but then they did get divorced. They got divorced when she was like 14, so it's like she went through a divorce. I always got divorced, and I was like, going on five? I have no recollection of that shit. Yeah, Not at all. Yeah, my parents got so, divorced when I was two, but I have perfect recollection of it. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, man. my parents were never even married. 
So, I owed her an apology, and I knew it as much. And so I was just like, I, I was a, uh, I was angry, and I felt like I wanted cake. <laughs> yeah, I know that seems weird, and I know I need to be better about that, but I did. And so I was at the grocery store, and I was like, Yeah, you're wrong. And just in my mind, my mind, my mind is saying you're wrong. So yeah. I was like, Ooh, there's some cheesecake with strawberries on. I know she fuck with it, and 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 I, and I know she would uh, want, want a diet coke. I kind of feel like, in just in the last couple years, maybe in like in the last three or four years. Like, um, I know I heard it somewhere and it made me think, but, like, the not, like, you have to kind of approach situations where you kind of have to think that people don't have the information that you have. Mm -hmm. Even when it's just, like, the most basic information. You have to make, you have to handle every situation like someone's ignorant to the, uh, to every fact around it until they help you figure out. I'm just fuck. I'm doing that like it's a visual podcast. <laughs> but, um, it, until they figure, until like you ask questions, and for two reasons: one, you see if the person's listening to you. Yeah. You give them, you ask them questions so you can know um, not only that they're listening to you, but also to figure out how much information they have in the situation. So you learn two things at once: mm-hmm. you, learn if they're, they're, you learn if they're listening, you know, learn if they where they are as far as you can weigh it out, yeah. and. It works sometimes, but most of the time, I mean, for well, most of the time, it's good because you're not treating a person like they're worthless in a situation because nobody wants to feel that way. And, like, you get to know exactly where they are, engage it, so you're not flying off the handle, and you are and you get to work on it together besides just being like, you did it, you got it. Because, like, no, like, in that situation... You're putting a fucking lot on her shoulders. Like, tell, like <laughs> you're you're having you're having her do something for a friend of yours. Yeah. And with, with speaking of like, if she has anxiety, that's that's a fucking ancient situation. You're getting but having her go help somebody for you, yeah. and she wants to live up to doing it for you for somebody else. Like, that's the situation. I, I'd be like. You know what, T? I don't know. If, I don't know if I could fucking handle that. <laughs> I don't, I'd be like, I don't know. If, like, you know, I would do it, but it's kind of like, I'm doing it for you. And, like, yeah, do, doing something else. Because I know when, like, it seems like this always happens. Like, my girlfriend asked me to do something for her. Like, I want this from the store. And nine times out of ten, they won't fucking have that product. And I'd be, like, fucking spaced out. Like, oh, my I God. I think that the simplest of it all is, like, People don't like it when other people volunteer you to do shit. It's like, yeah. I mean, like, you don't like it when she says that you're going to a party with her. She don't <laughs> like it when you tell someone that she's going to come jump their car. <laughs> Again, I know I'm wrong here, people. You ain't got to convince me of it. Oh. I was wrong. I know, but we got to discuss it for the listeners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, was just, yeah, I was just trying to get from her side. Bit. Like, that's an ancient situation. It, yeah. and, and it's an ancient situation for everybody involved. Anybody. Yeah. And a person who has anxiety, a generalized this anxiety, you know what I'm saying? And then I it's imagine too, worse. like the fact that like she doesn't know how to do it, and you've already told the other person that they'll come. Didn't say that. Oh. I said I said I'd check. So oh, okay, okay. Okay. I didn't say. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't another liar. If you had, yeah. you'd be having to go back to that person, and tell them that this other person doesn't know how to do something. Yeah, yeah. The other person didn't know how to do it either. Whose name you heard earlier, but you didn't because I beeped it. But I'm saying that's, that, I'm like, and then I, and I did hear the person back, and I said, hey, she doesn't know how to do it. And then I asked, like, why don't none of y'all know how to do this? And no one had any response. Cause no way, no way. I mean, I th- I kind of feel like that other person is indeed a single woman on her own. And it's like single. I'm like, I'm like, you should know how to do this. You should have this. This should be in your fucking oeuvre. Well, you know what to get that other person for Christmas. Yeah, man. And on top of that, like, so I got she needs new battery anyway. It all was still up. The jump would have probably just got her up the road to AutoZone. Need a whole new battery. <laughs> yeah, like um, like with, with cars, I know like on certain Dodges now they put the battery in a container. Like that you have to get to it. not only in the container but on the side in the side of the wheel well. Right. So yeah, you, it's trash. The whole system is uh, set up to make you have to go take it to the shop and shit at this point. So it's kind of garbage. Yeah, but, but I, I kind of wish that the whole uh, click, since you know. They, they all trying to call Cleveland a shithole. This have gondolas everywhere from now on. That, that sir, is why I ended up having a, a, a purchase an apology coke. I didn't have to. I just did. 
and I apologize and she accepted my apology and I hope we are well and better for it. And I know now, if nothing else, I need we need to make sure that AAA is up and running. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yes, indeed, I can teach you how to do it, but like I said, who knows? You, like you just saying, sometimes cars is jacked up and weird and battery places is weird. Knowing how to do it on one car don't mean you know how to do it on all cars. And not only that, like in you fact, guys I'm, travel a, a fair amount. Yeah, I, in fact, I don't even know where the battery I need to open it up and take a look and be like, let me see where the battery is on the damn new car. Because it might be on some bullshit that I, 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 that I can't yeah, even I get Yeah, I couldn't tell you the last time that I was like under the hood of my own car. Yeah. So, I've had that car for four years now. Yeah, so I need to, I probably need to take a peek at that just for my own good thing. So things come up, things come up this. Knowledge comes up, wisdom comes of it. And an apology diet code comes up. <laughs> so there you go. There's a story of the apology diet code. And I'm sure you, the listener, appreciated that story. So the box was right to pull it out of me. So thank you. <laughs> I, I did it for myself, really. I was curious. Hey, the, the, the gift to you is the gift for all. So it all worked out. Yeah. I got it. It's cool. Then we will go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, this is episode... 308. I was about to say 808. Nope, not quite. <laughs> no heartbreaks here. No, you know, not yet. Of uh, Sage Crunch and Milk, uh, do me a solid. Get out there. Uh, rate, review, subscribe to the show wherever you can. I realize you're saying, man, what the hell, T? But the more places you do that, the more active it looks. The more the more it looks active, is the more chances uh, other people get to hear. Because it. it just shows up in more people's uh, lives and feeds and so forth. It's, all. it's the hustle, people. It's what to get do. a sticker. Oh, yeah. And if you do it, that, that offer still stands. You do it. Shoot your sticker. Easy as that. Postage on me. I ain't even telling you you got to send me a, a, a S-A-S-E, but I got you. I will send it to you, and I will get it to you in, 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 in quick, fast, and in a hurry. So do that for your boys. P-D-Q. <laughs> hey, what do the letters actually stand for? Pretty damn quick. Pretty damn quick. Huh. Darn if you want to go in your PC. Ooh. How's that PC? <laughs> no swearing. I don't think... I don't think pretty PC. darn quick. I, I, if anything, I think PC code will let you get your square on, just not your slur on. See, there's a difference. Right there. you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Back when I was watching Doug, you know, the neighbor <laughs> man was saying pretty darn quick. He wasn't saying pretty damn quick. I don't know. That's just I don't know Nickelodeon will let damn fly on the well, at that point, cartoon yeah, hour. You watch, you watch Nickelodeon, Doug. I watched ABC, Doug. I watched Doug when he, he was went the over more mature, the... Doug. Like, he had hair on his balls, Doug. <laughs> Had a mayonnaise. Like he wanted to fire. give it to Patty. Like he was just infatuated with Patty and the <laughs> Nickelodeon Doug. Yeah. But fucking ABC Doug was just wanting to like real Patty. <laughs> real Patty? We'll end it on this. <laughs> so recently I had saw something where we were talking about how the creator of Doug wanted to do a Doug movie, like a the, like a wrap up. Yeah. But like he can't because Disney owns the rights now yeah. and Disney like doesn't seem to want to continue to do anything with Doug. Yeah. Um, but the article talked about how what would have happened, like would Doug and Patty ended up together if the story continued. Yeah. And he said no, because Doug and Patty was based off his own life experiences and uh, he and his Patty didn't actually like end up together. Yeah. Like and they had a high school reunion, and she called him because he didn't go to the reunion. And she wanted to see him, so they said they like he got dressed up and went to her apartment. And when he was there, he met her husband. Oh, <laughs> damn! She ended up fucking skeeter. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Well, also, Rogers. Also, were they like junior high? The, the, the other one was uh, was at, was in high school. I thought. No, it was middle school. Yeah, because yeah. it was the BB Bluff Middle School. Yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna go in like. BB Bluff. Who, like, who would ask if they made it, like, you know, through the, all the way through junior high, high school, college, to be, or, assuming, you know, Doug could have went to trade school, yeah. I would assume. <laughs> Doug's just an HVAC guy trying to make his money, a plumber. Hey, HVAC, trying. All these people make their dough, for they sure. Those make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's Tater216. That's Lunch by 2099. I'm Mr. Man is at the real ODP. Holler at my man's on he Twitter. He's never been in our uh, our chat lately. What's me, what, what you up to, man? His, his, his phone don't be, do be on some nonsense. Y'all know how that works. So we'll, we'll, we'll I hit him up yesterday. So he, uh, he need to hit up CVS to give him a new phone to, to see if he's gonna come through uh, for Lil's uh, uh, Lil's uh, birthday. So we'll see. And uh, I'm Yunus Taylor Seven Thirteen sipping on the uh, my, my melting ice cubes. You've just been podcast so I know you loved it. Mm. Uh, I hope it ain't too echoey. Uh oh. Is it at least not waterfally? Peace. Record this bitch again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened to you? You used to be beautiful. <laughs>